Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Darkest Dungeon. So hopefully if you're sticking around and not too angry about the way I like to play, uh, you're going to enjoy this video. We're going to go into the Warrens and try to kill off the Swine Prince for tons of portraits, crests, and a big pile of money. Money running a little bit low now that I've been upgrading everybody's armor and weapons and skills like the Dickens. Note that if you do spend your papers and your paintings upgrading your stress relief stuff or upgrading the stagecoach, you wouldn't have upgraded the blacksmith quite as much as I have or the guild as much as I have. So in that case, you might have spent less money on skills and you'd actually be richer right now. Anyway, for this fight, we're going to grab our Hillian, our Crusader, which I'm going to totally fail to call by the appropriate names. We're going to take Gurney here. Our level 2 Seeker. And Pasquire, I don't think it can go because it's an apprentice mission, is that right? Ha, such child's play. Yes, yes. So we're going to take Grantanesmil. Uh, let's provision on up. Okay, well, we're going to take, I think, two shovels because I don't want to risk having um, any obstructions. We'll grab a stack and a half of food. Oops, that was a bit too much food. A Stack and a half of torches, and we're almost out of money, so, um, grab some holy water, some herbs, and, god, I just don't ever see keys out in the warrens. I'm sure there's something. I really should look it up at some point and research it, but that'll do it. Okay. I could take more medicinal herbs. There seems to be a lot of stuff that requires that. All right, fuck it. We'll do it. Two medicinal herbs. All right, we're going totally broke here. If this fails, I actually could be in some trouble. Oh, right, there's the uh, there's the memoirs, which I don't think are actually skippable, unfortunately. Also, my computer's crashing for no reason. Okay, good, this is a good start. Good start. Now, my team is pretty strong. We got level twos and, I think, a level one. So, I shouldn't be too bad. But I guess if this goes badly for whatever reason, I could be in a lot of trouble since um, I'm flat ass broke. Hey, we got a very nice room. Everything is interconnected. So I think it makes the most sense just to snake along. Oh, I have no idea what room the Swine Prince will be in. I guess maybe I could like dash to the opposite corner like this or like this on the assumption that the Swine Prince would probably not be right next to where I started as opposed to snaking like this. It's not likely that he's in one of these rooms. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and snake along the bottom hope for the best here. Anything in this hallway? Absolutely nothing in that hallway. Just a single torch spent. Bink. Nothing in this room. Ah, scouting. Excellent. So, that's a hell of a scouting. We know that there's good stuff in both of these rooms. We know that there's treasure in this room. So how greedy am I for treasure? Well, let's first take out that swine prince, then we'll see about going back for the treasure. Just taking a little bit of residual stress from wandering around. I like how the more that nothing happens, the more you get stressed out. Here we have a dinner table. Okay. I think it makes sense to try to stun these spiders. And then everyone else will just start attacking. These are the spitters, they deal the most damage. So, let's see, let's um, try to shoot that guy, gain some extra light. Oh, we're already at 100 light, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not gonna bother um, yawping. Let's just try to kill this Weber up front here. Death is the ultimate status condition. All right, dodge the bite, so the decision not to yop ends up working out quite well. See, Holy Lance is a really nice crit mod. These guys aren't unholy, so there's no point smiting. Let's just Holy Lance this spitter back here. Man, Holy Lance. Is this the guy that has all the runs? No, this this guy is fine. He's the kleptomaniac. Right, okay, let's um, shoot the spitter. Not so much to stun it, but just because I don't want him to go, so I was kind of hoping to kill him. All right, there's some blighted spit. Does Grant and Esmol have the healing ability? Well, doesn't matter, she's stunned. Ah, she's not stunned. Lovely. Well, anyway, um, spitter. So we're going to try to bleed it to death. Oh! Ah, even the simplest fights can sometimes take a while if you miss enough. Oh, my God. Yes, we got our battlefield medicine. Is it worth healing off this blight? It's just two points of damage now. Let's just try to blast this thing. If it gets blighted, it'll die, and it will die. Okay, good. No, 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 this isn't... Ah, this isn't my upgraded one, so this weber will actually live. Ha, huh, okay. 
Let's try to judge this spitter. There we go. And my heroes are all a little rusty, it seems, for not being in action. Okay, so let's try to kill off the Weber. Finally, we land an attack. What a treat that is. Now we're actually going to do some battlefield medicine to heal up her own Blight and get some health on the Crusader. Nope, just healing. Oh, both cures failed. What are the odds? All right. Let's heal up. Get some stress out of here. Oh, he only had two stress. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, now we're going to stop dicking around. Let's incise this thing and wrap it up. Okay. So this is, what, a food, right? Food thing? I do have two medicinal herbs, so I might as well use one. We get a whole bunch of food. Wow. All right, we are rocking on the food. What that means is that we'll be able to feast for sure when we go camping. So here's the question. Do I do this extra fight in the hallway to get to this room, which has something good in it? Or do I avoid it? If I avoid the fight, then I'm going to have to backtrack. The thing is, we got tons of food, so I don't really care about backtracking. But if there's a fight in this hallway, I'm going to have to fight nonetheless. So I'm just going to suck it up and have another fight. These guys are in really good shape. Alright, this isn't too bad. The push is kind of annoying because I don't want the Crusader to be up front, but the Barbarian resists. You go, girl. Let's just stun a brawler. Okay. They both go. Alright, basically the only thing I'm really worried about here are crits. Because uh, if they do get crits on me, please bleed. Yes, if they do get crits, everybody will take stress damage. But other than that, uh, it's not going to be a big deal. Wait, can I really... Wrong ability. There we go. Wow. Really rusty folk here. Uh, just missing a lot. Well, we're, we're getting ready for the swine prince on these little Dinkosaurus Rexes here. Hopefully once the, once the real battle comes, we'll be in better shape. Okay, let's, let's stun that. Let's try this Noxious Blast. Delio again. If it gets blighted, it'll die. Ah, the resistance. Alas. Okay, let's try to kill this guy off. And should I do Stress Relief? Hmm. If we're in really such good shape, I don't even think it's worth it. Okay. No problem. Got a torch and some paintings. Great. So it was almost worth going down the hallway. We have one of these scrawlings. Shoot. Uh, should I try to torch these? I don't know if that'll actually work. Nope. I know you can sometimes torch things. All right, uh, Plague Doctor, see what this says. Ugh. So it was just really freaking stressful. I don't know if there's an item you can use on those. Maybe some holy water could have done it. Okay. This is going to be rough. So we've got the pigs which vomit for uh, stress and a little bit of damage. We've got the drummer who can choose to sometimes uh, basically stress the entire party out. Hmm. I think, honestly, I'm just going to shoot the drummer and try to just kill him with straight damage. Hook word hurts. Uh, the crits. Tons of stress. This... Plague Doctor is actually almost about to die, but can't worry about that now. Oh, the drummer ended up getting pushed up to the force, so I'm going to try to smite him to death. Hey, there we go. Only five stress relief, alas. Well, now the barbarian's going to try to bleed the pig and hopefully kill it. If it bleeds, it'll die, and it bleeds, so it's going to die. Okay, so we're done with stress. Now we're just in damage control mode. I think the Barbarian's gonna yawp next to stop this chopper and the slasher from doing too much damage. The Priest definitely needs to heal up the dying Plague Doctor. And I think a Noxious Blast wouldn't be the worst thing here. If, it, if this thing gets blighted, it'll die, so it is gonna die. So all we have to worry about then is the Butcher. Oh man, another crit. Ugh. And she's on death's door. Oh my god, she could actually die if her turn happens before the, um, for the Priests, then she'll risk death. Oh my. Too bad the barbarian couldn't go before this butcher. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use Inspiring Cry on the doctor to, to uh, eliminate the chance of her dying to the bleed. Okay, let's heal up. So luckily she went later in the turn order. All right, stun resists 70%. At this point it's better just to hack down on it. And I'm gonna battlefield medicine. Oh my god, what's with these failing cures? Seriously. Uh, okay. 
Stun resistance pretty high. Let's just try to hack this thing to death, I think. Yep. Well, alright, we'll take a little chance here. Alright, that way we can get some extra healing and stress relief going from my poor Plague Doctor, which has just had the worst of it so far in this adventure. Alright, rather than using a heal, I'm just going to go ahead and attack, which is good, because we ended up getting some stress relief. Okay, so these sacrificial stones can sometimes actually uh, eliminate a negative trait. So that's annoying, but wow, this person has some pretty bad traits. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Plague Doctor is definitely the person I want reading this. Soft Quirk. Well, that was, that was the one that gives her less um, hit points. Although it wasn't the worst of her negative quirks. Still, better than nothing. And you know what? I got so much food here. It really doesn't even cut into my supplies just to eat some. Alas, that, tra that trap did not get scouted. So I blundered right into it. A map. Does it give us anything new? There's a big fight here. Hmm. And, okay, it looks like the boss is there. Well, that was a, Jesus, that was a full, that was a full map. Scout, holy crap. Okay, so I can either backtrack, which would involve walking backwards, which I believe increases stress, to here, to here, to here, to avoid the, the fight in this room, or I can just fight this room. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fight. Might as well. Alright, this isn't too bad. The swine drummer is annoying, but everything else is fine. So, do I try to focus down the swine drummer? No, I think I'm gonna try to stun these carry eaters because they do blight and that can add up in damage. Uh, let's go ahead and also stun the back row here. Or try to. But the drummer gets stunned, which is the important thing here, I think is where I'm gonna use... Actually, you know what? Nah. Iron Swan's not gonna kill this in one blow, but one blow could definitely kill one of these two. So, let's kill that, and then we'll do other things to try to kill off the drummer. This guy's blighted, unfortunately, for one damage per round. This, I think, is the time for the Holy Lance. Hey, he didn't miss! Amazing. Okay, so now this is no big deal. Let's stun him. This will give us some opportunities for stress, resist, and healing. So our team is actually going last. Let's cure off that blight, because why not? Let's heal up the Plague Doctor. Actually, I think a group heal is better here. Alright, and then the Barbarian will start to whack these things to death. Okay, they resist both blighting and bleeding, so the best chance to kill it is with just straight-up damage. Perfect. And then can the Barbarian go? Nope. Priest gets munched. No! She makes an epic dodge! Lovely. So we hack it to death, and alright, could have definitely been worse. And, and I say that like, what happened was bad. It was it's all, it's all pretty good. So here... I could go up to this room, but that would require fighting in the hallway, and there's no other treasure along the hallway, so I might as well take the long way around here. We can hopefully disarm the trap. Pile of bones. Well, here's the use for our holy water. Uh, some more food that I don't need and 250 gold. Well, so I basically just about bought back the holy water. Oh, I forgot to... There was a trap there that I had scouted. I just totally forgot to see it on the ground. <laughs> Oh, God, nothing's ever easy when you're bad. Okay, well, let's go up here. I mean, I could take the long way around, hit up this treasure. There's a lot of stuff along the way, but then there's a fight in this room. Now, let's just go up here. Remember to look for the trap this time. Loot. Good. Bandages are... Okay. Bandages are nice to find. I don't like to buy them, but they are nice to find mid-mission. Torch, go here. And do I want to camp before going into the Swine Prince's lair? Could heal up some of this damage. Hmm, there's nothing along the way, so whatever I do after this is fine. Basically, if I don't camp now, I might be able to resist more or uh, heal more stress later, but actually, these guys are actually already pretty stressed out. Let's camp right now. So. We can go ahead and feast, I think, for the extra health and the stress reduction. Nobody's stress reduction was wasted. And we can also use some of these buffing abilities. So, plus 10 accuracy. 
And assuming the swine prince is a size two. All right, we'll try this. Peptog's dumb. That's not really worth it right now. Let's see. Is it worth it to do that? Sure. And we can also encourage the plague doctor some more. I think that's going to be it. Oh, no, we can actually use one more ability. Lovely. Ten accuracy and ten dodge. Hmm. All right. Who do I want to make sure hits their stuff and dodges their stuff? I think, as tempting as it would be to give extra accuracy to the Plague Doctor for the stuns, I'd rather just give it to the Barbarian, because the Barbarian is the person I'm relying on for the hits. I don't know how, the, how long these buffs last, honestly. I, I wish I knew that. I don't know if it's a random amount of time, or if it's just, or if it's even for like the whole rest of the mission. I'm not quite sure. Whoever packed all this food, I could kiss you. Ah, they are upon us, man. Okay, so Jesus Christ, it's a bunch of pigs. We're all surprised. Luckily, this the turnaround isn't that bad. But we're taking extra stress, and they're all going to go first, I can only presume. At least we're not losing too much health, but the fact that we're going to take stress from all these pigs is pretty irritating. Oh, man, extra stress because it's a crit. Fuck me sideways. The Barbarian is the one who gets really screwed by the um, positioning, but it could have been a lot worse. So, let's try to stun that pig. I'm just going to try to smite this one to death. Perfect. Just enough damage to kill it. And we'll see. The, bleed the Blight is not that likely to work, but it does more damage. But this does more damage up front, so yeah, we'll just swipe the pig like that. It's not quite going to die from the bleeding. It goes first again. The extra dodge in the Barbarian doesn't actually work. She actually catches rabies. Uh, 10 accurate. Minus 10 actually plus 20% damage. Weird. Alright. Let's try to finish off this piglet. Okay. Oh, I still can't work, do anything because if it bleeds only works in the second position. Ah, hilarious. Alright. Dazzling Light kills it straight up. We do get some gold... For our trouble. But that was, that was pretty irritating. Alright, um, we're in the correct order. Nope, we're not. The barbarian needs to be in the front. So we have an uneventful walk down the hall. Didn't take too much stress from that pig ambush. And uh, we're still radiant. Alright, it's time to fight the swine prince. Luckily, the barbarian still has all of her buffs. Swine prince is a size 2. I think it's actually, it looks like a size 3. Um... So, the Barbarian will do more damage against it. Can't be stunned, but it will be blighted and bleated, like the Dickens. I have a feeling that Wilbur needs to die. I just have a feeling. So, let's go ahead and start to attack Wilbur here. Enraged destruction. That sounds terrible. Alright, everybody takes a lot of damage, and wow! It's a group stun and everything. Holy crap. Okay. Well, we need to really kill off the pig, I think. Doesn't quite die just yet. Oh, so attacking the pig causes it to do this really good move. I see. Maybe I should have not done that. Well, we're about to find out if that was the right play or not. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, I could just die here. And this one. Maybe I should have left that pig alone. In fact, I think I probably should. Shh. Shoot. Uh, oh my god, I'm totally dead. Well, let's hack it. And let it bleed. Do I dare kill the pig? I mean, everyone's gonna die if I kill the pig. So, I think we just need to try to whack it to death. Maybe that would have been the better strategy all along. Alright, so this guy can be blighted. So, a Noxious Blast is in order. That'll be another 9 damage. Obliterate body. Alright. Death's door there. Isn't this exciting? And these two. Maybe I should have just let that pig alone. Alright, we need to do group healing. Where we can. I can't stun him. Yeah, just got to... Actually, can I use Holy Lance? Yeah, I can use Holy Lance because this thing's so huge. Obliterate the masses. My barbarian drops to death's door. Okay, let's 
to make it bleed some more. Oh, I should have put some bandages on it. Well, let's um see. I'm gonna take a little risk here. We're gonna Noxious Blast to put more blight on the Swine Prince. And the pig might actually kill off the barbarian. All right, we get lucky. The barbarian does not die, but now this guy's on death's door. I need my priest to go so I can take them off of death's door. And let's keep on making this guy bleed, hopefully. Nine damage per round for three rounds. Pretty significant. Okay, well, anyway, I've never fought this thing before. So the lesson learned is don't don't attack the pig. That, that was clearly a terrible mistake to attack the pig. Uh, this thing is taking nine damage per round and nine damage per round for three rounds, so it will die. I just need to not die. I need the priest to go before the pig because the pig might actually give a death's blow to each of these two. That could be really bad. It's the pig, oh no, each of them could die right now. And actually they both die. All right, well, it's gonna be uh, an interesting turn of events from here because this thing Swine Prince could still die from all of the bleeding and blighting damage that got put on it previously. And in fact, it will die. Um, and I would have been fine if I hadn't uh, attacked the pig so much and triggered that enrage move. So Swine Prince is dead. Uh, we can now, the priest actually can't do anything from the second position. We can probably kill off the pig. I only hope, is that, I hope that's not a stun. It's a stun, all right. Well, I'm gonna try to kill off the pig. Now I, I hope I get the stun resistance, yeah? Okay. So eventually, there we go, I resist the stun. Let's attack it. Usually when there's a boss, you have to fight all of its minions, but here I guess it was clever. They did the exact opposite. Uh, you do not want to attack that pig. Okay, well, let's take a deteriorating bracer. This is, oh, you get, your character gets less experience, but more scouting chance? Sure, let's take that. That thing's terrible. This is, light below 25, what the heck? Okay, this is just bad. This is bad, that's bad. So all I care about is this, and we can close. Let's open up the chest. Uh, let's go ahead and put the key in here. What? Oh, mm, okay. Well, this isn't the right type of chest, I guess. And we get a ton of... Okay, don't need those dice. We get 1,200 gold. All right, well, that was one of the more embarrassing videos I've made for Darkest Dungeon. Lesson learned, don't hit the pig. So we were okay. We won the mission. We lost out on some treasure, because if, obviously if I had the Barbarian and the Crusader, we could have still kept roaming around. Um... And now we uh, are gonna need to replace these guys. Ooh, look at that, Grant and Esmo became tough. So thanks for watching, please like and or subscribe. And if you wanna stick around um, for some more cleanup, let's, let's go ahead and do that now. So we got these jesters. I was told that these are better than they look. I still think they're pretty crappy. So I'm just going to put them in because they're here, but I'm not planning to actually use them. We do have another Barbarian in training and another Crusader in training, so it's not the end of the world. Just embarrassing. All right, we can finally get up to level three or level four skills. I don't think I have enough here to upgrade anything else meaningful. So let's see if we can do anything for anyone. He's only level one, Grant and Nesmo. Oh yeah, she just got up to two, so we need to upgrade Noxious Blast. The gas, the cut, and the medicine. She's still level one. I might have to put him in some battles. So let's do the point blank shot, the advance, the vein. Do I like grape shot blast? Some people really swear by it. I'm not actually sure it's usually a good idea because you, you don't have very much crit chance and your damage sucks on this. Usually it's better to focus fire things down. What would I take in its place? Postal shot sort of meh and take aim is sort of meh. All right, we'll keep the grape shot blast. Okay, so um, that's that. And now, it's a good thing I had backups. So, uh, Renault Jr. and whatever the other person's name was, uh, yeah, they're gonna have to step up to the plate. Let's take a look at what the next mission's gonna have to be. Again, we don't have anything in the ruins or the wheel, so we have to keep going back to the Warrens. We have a medium length scouting mission and a short mission, both scouting. Well, looks like um, I have a pretty strong team here. We have a 
healer, hellion, crusader, and a witch doctor. So my classic setup, decently leveled up. One of them is a two, the rest are ones. I could bring in the level two healer if I wanted to. She's actually almost up to level three. So I could bring her there. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do here. Trying to get up some more money. Um, while we recover the loss of two of our strong, uh, two of our star heroes. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like and/or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.